afternoon, YouTube. How are you guys doing? It's a nice 78 degrees last time I looked at my uh, temperature, my weather app. Today we are here in the wood yard, or the shop, whatever you want to call it. I'll just give you guys a little update on the wood. Well, for starters, all of this is new today. Wasn't here this morning when I went past. This pile right here is ash. Got this from my buddy when he was doing a tree job. I believe most of that's some kind of birch. Please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not a professional. I'm just taking a wild guess. Back there is pine. That goes to uh, the guy that you know, he uses it for campfires. So it's, that's been sitting there for like a year. So as soon as he lets me know, he's gonna get it split up for him. And then over here, there's some more ash in this pile. Some cherry. Um, I'm not sure what else is all in there. It's the same thing right here. Some ash, some cherry. Some other stuff that I'm not sure of. And let's take a walk over here. This pile right here is all ash. I mean, there is some uh, hickory rounds, like you can see. This one. There's a couple, nothing huge. But all that is going to go in this corner. This is where we've been putting all of our ash. Just because the ash is all dry. It was when my buddy cut it down. It was dead already for like a year or two. So it's already ready to go. We've, we've tested the moisture and it's at like 14-15%. We've already sold quite a bit because this pile right here was pretty big. And we have a lot left to go and then in these totes is all hickory and then i guess right there those are just odds and ends pieces and some knotty stuff that we're not gonna be able to split with the splitter we have a lady about 10 15 minutes from here that actually buys those rounds or and odds and ends pieces for us or from us and She's got a big skid loader splitter, so that helps us out. And then over here, we got a bunch of hickory logs in here that we're just letting dry up for now. Uh, in the back, there's more pine. Got some more ash right here. I'm not messing with this one. And there's, unfortunately, there's some cottonwood in here. But pretty much, I, I take whatever wood is given to me because, well, it's free. And uh, softwood is great for campfires. And I actually, or me and Justin, we saw quite a bit of campfire wood. So that works out good for us. So right now we're just going in the shop. use the mess um so we have a champion 25 ton splitter it goes horizontal and vertical if we want to tip it up and what is new for this splitter is we have a four-way wedge on it now and now it's not a big four-way wedge like what you normally see on those big big splitters but it, it's gotten the job done it helps us split a lot quicker and then also what I have started to do, I mean just I started to do is uh we're now gonna be taking stickers. So this is an example of a sticker. Outdoors in the 608, Jeremiah. He's actually located like 20 minutes from here. And we've connected quite a bit on Facebook. We watch each other's videos. And he's been a huge support of this channel even though I we haven't posted much 
lately and he's been a really cool guy we message quite often on facebook and i think one of these days we're gonna have to do a like a collaboration video or whatever you call it and me and justin are in the process of getting our stickers ready so if anybody wants a sticker just comment put a comment down below and we'll figure that out and well obviously if anybody wants to send us a sticker just let me know and i'll get you the address but what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna put them right on the soda fridge so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set you guys up somewhere and we're gonna put our first sticker on all right, so I actually I have this head mount that I recently got. I'm hoping I have it positioned just right where you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm really hoping, so I, I played around with it for about 10 minutes trying to get the right angle. All right, I'm just trying to get this sticker peeled off so I can get it placed on there. All right, take a look at that. Thank you, Jeremiah, for the first ever sticker on the soda fridge. Thank you for being a uh, nice supporter and everything like that. And I look forward to doing a collaboration video with you if you would be down for something like that. All right, so we got the splitter out here. What I'm going to do is, well, obviously I'm going to start splitting from this pile. I'm just going to throw it over. Uh, Justin will be out here soon. He has uh, his daughter's track meet, and it's senior night, so can't be missing that. So I'm going to fire the splitter up, and let's get to work.
it. Splitter's out of gas. Made a little dent in the pile. Still a lot left. Made a nice little pile there. Justin came out to help. Yep. What's your opinion on this four-way? It's working good so far. I've got to find some extra things around <laughs> Works good on most of these pieces, like this one. That'd be split one pass. Some of these bigger ones that might take a couple passes, but it breaks it up more, which is nice. Seems like it's going a little quicker. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you to Jeremiah for the sticker. Justin likes it a lot. Yeah. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. We'll see you on the next one.